So President Obama gives a speech at a national prayer breakfast and says, hey, you know, let's not be on our high horse here as Christians. Obviously, we had the Crusades and uh, things like slavery, and those are issues. Uh, and uh, there's obviously goodness and badness in, in all religions. Now, uh, Eric Bowling disagrees. He's on Fox News, and he's about to say something hilarious. Reports say radical Muslim jihadists killed thousands of people in the past few months alone. And yet, when you take Christianity, Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, whatever, their combined killings in the name of religion, well, that number would be zero. That number would be zero? Zero. Okay, well, there's two possible things that he meant, ever. I hope he's not that stupid. But let's debunk that real quick here. Uh, here is some examples of Christian violence throughout history. Uh, the Crusades. Um, the Inquisition, uh, the Holocaust, um, that was pretty brutal. How about a here in America? I mean, uh, we're better here, right? Salem witch trials, uh, the Native American slaughter, uh, American slavery, and the Ku Klux Klan. Just to name a couple. Now, of course, here come the usual Christian apologists. No, none of those count. No, when Muslims do it, it's all because of Islam. When Christians do it, no true Scotsman would ever do that. Right? No true Christian would ever do it. So. Oh, well, the Holocaust, uh, they, that was just Hitler being Hitler. I mean, he didn't do it for, uh, in the name of Christianity. Really? Because I've got a quote from Hitler right here from Mein Kampf where he says, Today I believe that I am acting in accordance with the will of the Almighty Creator. By defending myself against the Jew, I am fighting for the work of the Lord. It didn't help that the Germans uh, had on their belt buckles, Gott mit uns, God is with us. And I can give you a dozen other quotes from Hitler where he says, yes, I'm doing for Jesus. That's why I'm killing the Jews. Okay. But that doesn't count. If that doesn't count, what counts as religious violence? Okay. And uh, American slavery, I mean, the fact that they justified it by quoting the Bible over and over again, saying that if you're a slave, you, you should know your place and your role, and that is to serve your master. That is an absolute historical fact. But the Klan, I mean, the Klan's not fair, right? I mean, were they really Christians? Well, let's take a look at some pictures of the Klan and figure out if they were or not. Oh, right, that's a giant cross they're burning. And they're not burning the cross because they're Muslims and they don't like it. <laughs> they're burning the cross because they think this is our symbol. And we are lighting this up and we are going to show it to... Uh, not just blacks, by the way, Jews, Muslims, they talked about even Muslims and how they had to be eradicated as well. So it was not just racial, it was also religious. See, the cross on his white robe might have also been a giveaway that it was also a religious group, a Christian group, that did the worst terrorism in U.S. history. Yes, including 9-11. I know. How dare I? How dare I? The Klan for decades and decades terrorizing Millions of Americans. You want to talk about terrorism? When someone burns a cross your, in your lawn, and then forget the symbolic element of it. When they grab you from inside your home, and they lynch you, and they burn you, and they hang you, and they literally have a picnic around that hanging and that burning. Okay, that's the true face of terrorism. I know you can't say it about Christians because that's forbidden in America. Christians, according to Fox News Channel, have never done any violence. What a comical, insane thing to say. All right, now let's give him the benefit of the doubt and say he didn't mean historically. He recognizes that Christians have been the most brutal. I mean, it's not that Christians are most brutal by genes. That would be preposterous. We're all human beings, right? But as it stands, historically, more people have been killed in these Christian atro atrocities than any other religions. Now, that's a fact. My guess is that Eric Bowen is not going to agree with that. But even if we were to grant him that he didn't mean historical, but just meant recently, and uh, let's take a look at recent stuff. I mean, we don't want to go back seven, eight hundred years to the Crusades, right? That's what the conservatives keep saying. Well, let's look at look, uh, Christian violence recently. First of all, right now we've got massacres in the Central African Republic uh, of Christians massacring Muslims and driving them out. That's happening right now. And then, of course, there were the massacres in uh, Bosnia, where the Christians, the Serbs, and at different times the Croats came in and butchered the Muslims there. And then there was a lot of fighting and a lot of religious violence. Is violence only uh, in the case of Christians? Of course not. That would be a ridiculous thing to say. Now you say, all right, well, those don't count either. There's always a reason. They're, they're not in America. All right, let's come to America. Eric Rudolph, Olympic bomber, abortion clinic bomber, uh, one of the biggest cases of terrorism we've had in the U.S., also Christian, also said he was doing it for Christianity. Scott Roeder, the guy who killed 
Dr. Tiller, he's a, a killer uh, on the ironically pro-life movement. Wade Michael Page, he's the guy who shot people at the Sikh temple thinking they were Muslims. Uh, also devout right-winger, white supremacist Christian, Jim David Atkinson. Although he killed people in a church, uh, he had books from Fox News Channel hosts and contributors and saying he had to kill the liberal Christians in order to save Christianity. James Charles Kopp, another uh, killer of abortion doctors and providers. John C. Salvi, the same. By the way, the Army of God, yes, that is the name for Hezbollah in Arabic, but also the name of a Christian terrorist group uh, that kills abortion providers or anywhere near abortions uh, providing services when they blow up the place. And then, of course, there's the Order. The Order is also another terrorist group, also Christian. A uh, member of the Order is a guy you might recognize next on the list, Timothy McVeigh. Also a Christian, also white power, and also one of the worst terrorist acts in American history. In fact, the worst until 9-11. And then you have Anders Bering Breivik, who killed over 70 people in Norway as well. And he said he was doing it because he was afraid that the Muslims were going to take over, and he was defending Christianity. So I'm pretty sure that fairly recently there have been a lot of acts of terror by Christians. Now, if you want to say just in the last couple of months, okay, I got that one for you too. Uh, well, here was a guy named Larry McWilliams. He was a Texas resident. And you know what he did? He tried to burn down a Mexican consulate. He was shot dead while he was doing that. And uh, in his van, they found a copy of a 1990 book uh, that explained why he was doing it. The name of the book, Vigilantes of Christendom. That was in the last two months. I'm pretty sure that he was a Christian. The idea that Christians in general or by nature are worse than Muslims is preposterous. But the idea that Muslims are by nature worse than Christians is equally preposterous. All these religions have very violent texts and they all have adherents that have at different times followed through on that text and committed very violent acts. Anyone who says otherwise doesn't know what the hell they're talking about.